The Duchess of Sussex's carefully curated image as a beacon of social justice appears to have taken a significant blow during a recent visit to the United Kingdom. In a scene more befitting a pantomime villain than a royal figure, Markle was met with a chorus of boos from a 3,000-strong crowd during a public address. Videos circulating on social media capture the palpable disapproval, a stark contrast to the warm welcomes she often receives abroad. The reasons behind the public's frosty reception remain unclear. However, speculation abounds, with many pointing towards a growing disillusionment with the Sussexes' perceived sense of entitlement. Their decision to step back from royal duties while demanding taxpayer-funded security left a bitter taste in many Britons' mouths. Here was a couple who seemingly craved privacy yet reveled in the spotlight on their own terms. Markle's speech itself may have also contributed to the negative reaction. While details are scarce, some reports suggest it contained elements of self-promotion, focusing heavily on her own experiences rather than addressing the concerns of the audience. This perceived self-absorption may have struck a discordant note with a crowd grappling with economic anxieties and a rising cost of living. The public's disapproval isn't entirely unexpected. Markle's past interviews, with their thinly veiled digs at the British royal family, have not endeared her to a segment of the population. Additionally, her lavish lifestyle, complete with private jets and sprawling estates, seems incongruous with her pronouncements on social justice. The disconnect between her actions and her words appears to be resonating with the public. This incident raises serious questions about the Sussex's future endeavors. Their brand of philanthropy, heavily reliant on public goodwill, seems to be faltering. The ability to connect with the people they claim to champion appears to be dwindling. One can't ignore the potential for a racial undercurrent to this public display of disapproval. Markle, a biracial woman, has spoken openly about the racism she's experienced within the British tabloid press. However, to dismiss the entire incident as solely racially motivated would be a disservice to the complexities at play. The truth likely lies somewhere between a genuine dislike for the Sussex's perceived inauthenticity and the ever-present undercurrent of racial prejudice within certain segments of British society. Regardless of the cause, the public's resounding disapproval cannot be ignored. Whether the Sussexes can rise to this challenge remains to be seen. One thing is certain. The carefully constructed narrative of a relatable royal couple is rapidly unraveling. Only time will tell if they can rebuild their public image or if they are destined to remain figures of controversy.